So we got a supplement made by a company called Nature's Secret. Nature's Secret. Nature's Secret makes crave less. Natural, N-A-T-R-O-L, Natural makes Cravex, C-R-E, you got me? C-R-A-B-E-X, C-R-A-B-E-X, they make Cravex. So I know if I want to get rid of any kind of craving, be it a craving for masturbation, violence, cigarettes, any craving, I start off with the crave less, and then I give them the homeopathic substance, one called alcohol, for someone who has a craving for alcohol, and there's one called pork. Some people still like pinky. Everybody ain't, 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 everybody ain't the same place, you know. We're all in a different state of wellness, or being crazy. So you give them the crave less with the tablet called pork. Or if they have a problem with pollen, you give them crave less with the pollen tablet. Or dander, whatever their problem is. And that will help get rid of it, ameliorate it. I do have some with me, but not enough for this crowd. They don't make industrial strength either. They just, they just, they just make it for normal people. Okay. So I, I brought a few bottles with me in case someone is desperate. So nonetheless, we're talking about understanding that we have emotional problems. We're dysfunctional, but we're emotional dysfunction. Our problems start with our moods. And then we try to actualize our moods with our behavior. People get in a, you know when somebody's in a bad mood, they cuss you out. They lie to hit you. It's the mood that triggers all these other things you, you're having problems with. So you got to make sure this person you're talking with is in a good mood. Before you tell them to kiss you, I'll tell you tell them they need to find a different person to deal with. So just make sure they have a Coca-Cola before you tell them, the, you know, what you want to tell them. It's best to calm folks down. So what I've been talking about is why we have all these things, why we're having this black crisis, why do African Americans have more cancer, diabetes, kidney disease, heart problems, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity, prostate disease, liver disease, than any other race? Why, 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 why? We are not eating the food that is attached to our culture. You've never seen a painting in a pyramid or carving of some white sugar on a table or salt or sugar of our ancestors in history. Even if you can't even read comedic language, they paint it on the damn wall, we don't eat this shit. I mean, we don't eat junk food. <laughs> they got paintings. Prove this. I'm not lying to you. See? You thought it was going to be simple. Because what I'm saying, if you off your diet, you off your culture. To be off your diet is to be off your culture. It's just that simple. That's why the Asians send for their food, the Koreans send for their food, because food is associated with culture. Always have been. Even the Italians come over here. You know what they're going to send for? Italian food. Because they got to see Italy on the plate, and you got to see Africa on the plate. And African people did not eat processed food. We ate fresh fruits and vegetables. I'm telling you what we ate. Or no glass of milk sitting on the table. No. Wasn't no A1 sauce and all this kind of weird stuff. But it's going to be hard to get back there. You ain't going to have no help. Your friends are going to try to keep you on the plantation. Don't you eat some of the master's food? Don't it look good? I know you want some of this. You know how they are. Mm -hmm. So you got to make up your mind to run away on your own. You got to be strong about this. You got to do it for something greater than yourself, the children. At least they should see another way. So I'm not saying it's going to be easy. You're going to be challenged by this whole thing. And you're going to slip. Yeah, you're going to slip. You're going to be doing all right for a while, and then something's going to happen. And then you're going to slip. You may have seen a bad episode of Oprah. I don't know. <laughs> but you're going to slip. So just know that you're slipping because you're doing something positive, not because you're doing something bad. Just remember, say, I slipped because I was doing something positive. You follow me? So this is going to happen, but just pick yourself up, dust yourself off, start all over again. You can do this. You can, I am not a miracle. I am not, don't think I just fell out of the sky. 
I was up in heaven and Dr. Africa came down to teach us. If I came down from heaven, I smoked a joint on the way. <laughs> I come from the same zero you come from. I come from the projects. You know what I'm saying here? I come from eating sugar sandwich because we couldn't afford the jelly. We just put the straight sugar on the bread. I'm telling you. Bypass the damn je jelly. <laughs> straight sugar. <laughs> But you can do this. You, they got all kind of crossover food these days. If you still have a craving for meat, they got they got sausage now, soy sausage. I'm not lying to you. They got soy bacon. They got crossover stuff for you now. So you can do this. You really can. But you have to try. At least try. Don't try to do it all one day. Say, tomorrow I'm going to do everything right. You know you're lying. <laughs> Just say, I'm going to eat one vegetarian meal, one health meal once a week. Okay, I'll eat that for lunch. Okay, so it is going to be a piece of lettuce. What the hell with I'm trying. So you do that once a week. And then you say, well, maybe I'm going to do three times a week. I'm going to eat health food and not mess with the milk and the eggs and all that. You see what I'm saying? I say, one meal, I'm not going to eat anything fried. I'm going to steam my vegetables instead of boiling them. And then you just start gradually getting into this thing. Don't try to do this thing all, because you don't realize that you're affecting a lot of people. When you're changing your diet, you're getting on a lot of damn people's nerves. You are. Here you go showing up. Here they coming with that damn spring water. You know, they're going to talk about you. They're going to talk about you. It's good for you then, man. Ain't, ain't good enough for you no more, huh? Huh? You know, you're going to irritate a lot of people. You may not be thinking about it, but you're irritating people. Because y'all irritating me. So just go slow with this thing. I just want to re reiterate some things because uh, I want you to know that this is nothing but slime. It's just white liquid slime. That's all it is. It's heated up to such a temperature that's nothing but plastic anyway. And it's blood made from the blood of a cow. It's nothing but blood in another form. You cook in blood and you got this cooked pus in there. Then they put this fish liver oil in it that you call vitamin D. And to ensure that you eat the stuff, they put sugar in it. This is some dangerous stuff. And anybody that's from the South know where the best milk come from anyway. Do you think the white slave master like Colonel Saunders had his child sucking on a, cow, a cow's milk? A titty? I mean, you know what titty here? You know what titty? I'm getting too upset to even talk about it. They had what they call black mammies. Because they knew the best milk came from a black woman. Prove me wrong, damn it. That was your slave master. Even they knew where the best milk was. Got you going around wanting to suck on a cow's titty, you damn freak. I mean, you are very challenged people. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to, you know, beat that over the head, yeah. Now look here. A lot of folks you know got this kidney failure thing. Right? You hear Dallas and all that. Now, I, you, you know the herbs for it, right? That's poke root. You heard of poke root before? Poke root. You heard of sarsaparilla? Yeah. Sarsaparilla, poke root, another herb called thuja, which is cedar wood. You heard of cedar wood? Well, they, we call that thuja in the herbal business. So we got the thuja, which is cedar wood, the poke root, the sarsaparilla.